Gentlemen, how are you? Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, I already did part one to this and I reviewed a few people's collections. I'm doing part two. So part two, I'm gonna review your collections. This is not gonna be a roast session. This is gonna be delightful conversation. And like, once again, I'm not gonna read your emails because I don't wanna spew any information that you, cause if you give me like a code for like a free Netflix trial, like I don't wanna share that. First one is from Sean. I told you I would include you. So, um, wow, you got quite the collection here. Um, last time it took me quite some time to get through each collection. So I'm just gonna kind of glance through and see if anything really stands out to me. But holy cannoli, you've got some bangers in here. You got all the awkward Dijos at the top, our moths, holy shit. Elysium, what? Is that 1 million Privé right there? Damn. I've heard some really good things about 1 million Privé. Pri 1 million Privé has like a tobacco nuance in there, I, I believe. But I've heard some really good things about it. Sadly, it's like discontinued. It's really hard to find nowadays, so. Oh, and you got Boss Bottled Intense EDP. That is some so, so good. So good right there. Down at the bottom there, that is uh, uh, Maison Alhambra's versions of uh, Parfums Marley, Leighton or Harrod. I think that one is Hercules. I, if I do remember, I, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but those are really hard to find. Does anybody know where I can find those? Um, let me know down in the comments. Michael Jordan. You know, I've heard some mixed things about it. Some people say it's like really good, it's a hidden gem, and some people think it's trash. How do you like it? Oh, I'm interested to know. You got quite the Dua collection over there. I had no idea that Dua fragrances, Dua, Dewey, Dua, Dua Lipa, I had no idea they existed until like just a few months ago. I was like, there's a whole fragrance brand that does this? And then I realized that there's a ton of them. I see you got the best fragrance in the world. Loam IDL Extreme. I really wanna get my hands on that. I really, really do. Dude, all I can say is holy shit. You've got a collection there, dude. Everything you have is like stellar. It's really good. Um, I'm, I'm not really seeing anything that you could need. I mean, you've got like everything in there. Somebody called me out last time and they were like, you just recommended niche. Uh, so I won't do that this time. I'm gonna recommend designers. You should get some Jimmy Choo in your life and absolutely no niche, none. And that's, holy shit, that's Prada, that's Prada Extreme or Prada Luna Rosa Extreme, I think, I'm pretty sure. Is that, it's like a discontinued gem, isn't it? Anyway, Sean, oh my God, good Lord. You have a great collection, I just wanna say. You've got, you got some great stuff. You don't need to buy anything else for the rest of your life. Thank you, Sean, for submitting, and I appreciate you. Thank you for watching the channel. The next one comes from Malis. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have, sir, you have two bottles, and they look un, untouched of Blue Electric. Can I, like, send you my address? And you just, uh, and then you have another bottle on the side here. Oh my God. You must love Blue Electric. Uh, it must be really good. And you have Oud for shit there. Um, so you got some freshies up top. You got Coach in right behind it. And you got, I think that's Drop Boise, just right behind that. Uh, and then Leighton back there. And then Davidoff, cool water, of course. You gotta have the Davidoff. Monoe de Lome down there. And then just a bunch of different Ancre Noir, Fierce, Nautica Voyage. I'm sorry. Rocious Loam and Rocious Mustache Eau de Parfum. Good stuff. And there's Rocious Man in the background there. Hawass, really good stuff here. You got a really solid collection here, sir. And those blue electrics are juicy. Thank you for submitting your collection and um, send those bottles to me. The next one comes from Mark. Thank you, Mark, for submitting your collection. Let's take a look-see here. Ooh, you got some John Vervedos. I think that's John Vervedos Oud, I'm pretty sure. And then CK1 Shock. That is like, uh, I have it, it's interesting. It's like a cheapy, it's like a tobacco scent. It's like a cheap tobacco scent that, it smells really good. I, I do find it really nice. I should actually wear it sometime here in the next couple days. I think that's Cremo, the, um, it's 
Spice Bomb one. The Spice Bomb interpretation one or whatever it is. I forget the name of these two fragrances. They're Latafas. I forget what they're called. St. Bart's, never smelt it. Uh, then you got Latafa Fakar. Then you got Salvatore Ferragamo Womo up top here and the Womo Signature. Good stuff. Um, I tried Signature once and that was back in like 2018. So I was like a, you know, newbie. And so I was kind of turned off by it. I picked it up at Marshall's or um, TJ Maxx or whatever it was for like 20 bucks or so. And I just, I didn't really like it. I didn't, I actually sprayed it on in the parking lot. I was so turned off. I actually walked back in and returned it. But now that I'm, you know, more into fragrance collecting, I uh, want to pick it up again. And I want to pick up the original, the uh, Womo and then the signature as well. You got some Manceras at the top. Red tobacco is hard for me to wear. It is super hard to wear. I can't pull it off. You got the Hype Beast. Mercedes-Benz Club Black, ooh, Insurrection Wild 2. That thing is so good. I, I really do enjoy that. 9 p.m. over there, a really good collection there. Uh, actually, it's a really well-rounded and the presentation is actually pretty nice. You have it up on your shelves here. Hopefully, you don't live in like earthquake, you know, cities, so you're you're good. It's easy, it's simple. And you also say Detour Noir is in the mail. Love your videos, keep, thank you, Mark. I appreciate you and your collection is bomb. It's dope. The next one comes from Kaz. I hope I'm pronouncing that right once again. So the first image here, you got some Parfums de Marley's in the back, dope stuff. You got some Aventus clones there, 1 million lucky. I need to get my hands on 1 million lucky before it completely disappears. I know it's like, it's been discontinued for like, you know, seven years, but it's still, you know, being sold everywhere. So I, I just don't, doesn't make, doesn't make any sense at this point. L'Homme Le Parfum is actually one that I'm planning on picking up. I do love it. I got a little decant of it um, a y years ago and I actually really did enjoy wearing it. Um, and I just been putting off getting a bottle for the longest time. It kind of does smell like the Y DNA, but I actually do really like it. So. Cedrop Boise over there, Armani Code Absolute. Dude, you've got a really well-rounded collection here. Um, really, a lot of good designers, a lot of good cheapies, a lot of good, you know, clones and stuff. You have a Parfums de Marly Layton, but you also have Detour Noir. So, um, what is your preferred one? Do, when do you wear Detour Noir instead of Layton? I'm curious. You have Creed Aventus in the back. I need to pick up a bottle of Creed Aventus because I'm a fragrance collector and I don't have Aventus. Thank you for submitting. It's a really good collection. I think you got some really good stuff. I would just maybe, I, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it, here we go. Strap yourself in. Maybe get some niche fragrances or some like indie fragrances. But overall, you've got some good stuff and you have Parfums de Marley, so it's like you're in niche already, so. Anyway, next one comes from Isaac. Thank you, Isaac, for submitting your collection. Let's take a look-see here. YSLs, bunch of YSLs, good man. You got a bunch of great freshies at the bottom, a lot of good freshies. And um, Gucci Guilty, Gucci Pour Homme, or Gucci whatever. I think that's discontinued, I'm not sure. It looks to be discontinued, it looks, I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments if I'm, bullshitting myself here. Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. I've heard some good things about that one. I know, um, I think it was TLTG Reviews. Bought it like right out of the gate, retail. He said it was good. Savage, dude, you got some really good stuff. Simple, basic, but effective. You're gonna be smelling wonderful the rest of your life. The next one comes from James. And let's take a look, see here. Okay, and he says in the email, I will read this. He said, give me a suggestion. So let's give James a suggestion. Here. Blue de Chanel, you got some awesome, awesome Parfums de Marley there. It looks like you're into fresher um, vibes here, which is always good. I am gonna give you a suggestion here. I don't know what kind of climate you're in, but I see Tom Ford ombre leather there. So you, it seems like you can wear darker scents. Why don't you have a Spice Bomb? You should have Spice Bomb, the OG, the original uh, Spice Bomb. I think it would round out your collection pretty well. 
or, and just because I'm on the Nishan A train right now, the hype train, woohoo, get into Nishan A. Um, if you like vanilla, which I don't know if you do or not, if you like vanilla, get Annie or Hasavet. You don't have any like Creed Aventus clone kind of style. So Nishan A, Annie or Hasavet, which would be cool. I honestly think that you should get Tom Ford's Oud Wood. I really do. And if you're not wanting to spend all that much money, the uh, Mason Alhambra has a fragrance, Woody Oud. That's a good one too, but Oud Wood would be good. And I know you like that kind of Woody style because you have um, Gentleman Boise right there, which um, is a beautiful wood fragrance. Anyway, James, thank you for your submission. The next one is from Chris, and Chris um, sent me this photo here. Ooh, wow, damn. You actually have oog for greatness. I give you so much credit, sir. Creation E, dude, you've got some bang ass shit here. You've got vetiver, you've got Elysium. Oh my God, Parfums de Marley in the back. You've got some Creed, Creed Viking. Creed Viking has been on my radar for a long time. I'm hesitant about pulling the trigger just because of Creed's reputation about not performing well. It seems like all their fragrances just don't perform well, but Viking is one of them, Green Irish Tweed, Royal Oud. Royal Oud has been on my list for a long time, but I cannot justify that $500 price. It's insane. I think that's Blue Electric. I'm just gonna say it's Blue Electric. Holy shit. I forget what this fragrance is called, but that is high on my list too. God, what is the name of that? <sighs> Tom Ford Gray Vetiver. And then the Curly Fragrance Hype Beast itself. Oh my God. I'm actually jealous of your collection. I am. Anyway, thank you, Chris, for submitting your collection. Now you make me feel bad. And the last collection is from Joel. Thank you, Joel, for submitting your uh, collection here. Let's take a look. You got a few different uh, pictures going on here. So I think, so I believe that this is the top shelf picture. So we'll start at the top and work our way down. Vibrant Vetiver Delight. Good to see that on there. That thing is so nice. It is so fresh and so just, <sighs> like it. I like it a lot. I have no idea what that mega stallion is back there. That chromed out beautiful horse bottle is. I have no idea. That one back there is actually an Offnon, um, what is it? Ombre leather clone. And uh, from what I hear, it's a great clone. There we go. One million lucky again. I gotta get it. I gotta get one million lucky. Uh, and that one is, um, what is that one? That one is that, uh, blue tiger thing, clone thingy, Bob. Tara it's Tarathi Afnan, blue. I've been waiting on buying that because um, Afnan actually reached out to me and they wanted to do a collaboration, um, but they sent me the, the we ha there was difficulties with the products that they sent me. Um, I don't wanna talk about any of it, but uh, the, the it was interesting. So I'm waiting to kind of hear back from them um, but I haven't, so. I'm gonna probably give it maybe one or another month before I just buy Tarathi Blue, but I'm kind of waiting for Afnan to kind of get back to me on the whole arrangement. I don't know, I don't want to get into specifics, but I'm I'm interested in, in that, in the uh, Tarathi Blue, Tarathi Brown, I think it is, and then the Carbon, um, uh, ombre leather clone. I don't know why it's escaping me right now. Okay, so I think this shelf comes below it. The The pictures are out of order, so I'm doing my best here. Sorry, Joel. On Blanc back there, uh, EDP, legend, super good stuff. I have no idea what the hell that is. That looks fancy or expensive. I don't know. It looks like an Armoff bottle, honestly. What the hell is that thing? Black Soul. What is that? God, you've got some really weird ass shit in here that I have never, <laughs> never seen before. That's a good thing. Mainly because I'm, I'm a generic guy. I'm a basic bitch, okay? I'm, so I'm doing my best here. You've got some great Latafas at the bottom. Detour Noir. You've got, I don't know what this one is. This middle one here with the little tree on it. 
I have no idea what that is. And I know that that's Highness, your Highness Blue, I think it is. Um, I don't know what that one's a take on. I forgot it. I'm dropping the ball here, man. Damn. And then you got some cool decants here. Dear on Parfum. Um, the picture's a little blurry on my phone here, so you can probably see it better on the computer. I'll just try to zoom in here. Ooh, you got the Naxos clone, Eight and Bob, Egypt. I have the original Eight and Bob, and I quite like it. I do. It's a little old school, and it's like that, you know, sandalwood barbershop-y kind of thing. Old school. Old school. I like it. I do like it. And then here on the bottom, Bright Peach, Valentino Womo back there. Nice stuff there. Um, Udi Wood right there and Oud for Glory. It's like haunting me. Lome Ideal Eau de Parfum. I love this stuff. I used to have a bottle of this, um, but I sold it. Um, I, I was going through a hard time and I needed money because I was living in my car. Um, so I needed money and so I sold off a lot of my fragrances. Um, but this was one of the ones that I sold off, but it was so good. I had this one, I had Ideal Cologne and Eau de Parfum, those two were amazing. I was wearing the Ideal Cologne to the gym a lot. That was a great, great fragrance. And I bought them at FragranceNet back in 2019, I think it was, for like 20 bucks a piece. Cause they were not like super hype beasts back then. So I got Ideal Cologne for like $23 and then I got the Eau de Parfum for like 26 bucks or 27 bucks, whatever it was. Really good deal. I sold them both for like a hundred bucks on eBay just to get some extra cash. Cause I, you know. Joel, your collection is amazing. And you're amazing too. Thank you so much for submitting your collection. And I'm gonna stop doing the collection review videos just for an extended period of time because what's happening is people are adding to their collections and I'm so slow at getting around to filming these things because I, I work full time and then I'm doing all this other stuff. So people's collections are growing and I'm reviewing older collections. So for the time being, I'm gonna stop doing this and I'm gonna pick it maybe back up. I'm gonna ask you guys to submit your collections again maybe two months, three months down the road, just so, you know, I can better, you know, navigate it. Anyway, sorry if I couldn't get to everybody. I had like 150 submissions. So I do apologize, but thank you so much to everybody who did submit. I'm gonna revisit the subject later on down the road, but for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.